Okay, so uh, this is part two of the header. So uh, we put in our links here um, and we've put in the URLs that those are going to. The next thing we can do is put our buttons here. Um, so we will put our buttons. Perfect. You can grab any element and drag it wherever you want. So if I wanted the image over here in the middle or the side, you can do that. Um, so we're gonna grab our buttons, drag them over to this column, and we're gonna put in, um, this will be where like our CTA is. So this could be like uh, get started or whatever. Um, we'll get another one that's like login, I guess. Okay, now on the style of these buttons, these are solid icon plus label. So basically you can decide if you want an icon, we're just gonna do a label for these ones. And we're gonna adjust real quick the width because you can see how they're just jumbled together there. So let's put those, let's separate those a little bit. Um, you can also adjust if they're gonna be a row or column. So if we did column, then they'd be on top of each other. For this case, we're gonna do row. Um, they are solid, so we can, um, there are two places that you can edit, like the text color and the background color. You can edit each button specifically. So if you wanted to get started to be, um, I don't know, red, and the text to be white, then you can do that. And then on this other button, the login button, if you wanted that to be, these are pretty bad colors, but I'm going with Christmas theme right now. And then white, there you go. Then you can do that. Now, if you don't care that they're separate colors and you just want them to be the same, it's a little bit easier when you're editing. Um, you can simply just do it on the style tab here. And that's going to style both, both of them the same color. Now, if I was trying to style that yellow, then it's not going to do anything because I've styled the individual buttons. So we're just going to keep it there. You can adjust, you know, the width, the height. If you want to make these a little bit taller, if you want to do some corner rounding, um, you can adjust the font and the size of the font. Um, so anyways, there's your buttons and the buttons work sim the same way as links do um, as far as the, U the URLs go. So get started if that was going to send us to our, let's say we have a pricing page section here, you would just do hashtag pricing. I think in the last video I said number sign. I think that's hashtag, hashtag pricing. Yeah. So that's how you would do your header. Now, the reason that this header um, section right here is important is because when you're creating these different section breaks, let's say your home page. You can select if you want to hide or not hide your header. And what that's going to do is, so if we were to publish this and let's say, let's just, uh, let's get rid of what we created so you guys can see this and know all that hard work. Again, if you buy this template, then you're going to have this um, and you can still adjust it, but it will be kind of pre-made for you. Um, let's say on this home section, we wanted to hide our header. Done. So if we were to save that, and view the demo, you can see that our header is not showing. So that's why it's important. So some pages, you may not want the header to show or the footer, because you have the same option with the footer. Um, but anyways, that's why you want to put this header um, section there. So we'll go back here and we'll deselect that. Save it, and we should be good to go. So that is the header. It's a very simple um, explanation of it. Obviously, you can get creative with the headers and do them however you want. You can create a background. Um, if you want this header to be a, you know, a certain background other than white, then you can do that here. You can do a gradient. I mean, there's a lot of things that you can do um, with, with styling these kinds of things. So. Have fun with it, and that's your header.